Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to make this bowling highlight kind of effect. This was requested by someone from the Discord. Firstly, I want to say thank you for everyone on the Golden and Diamond Spoon tier list. You guys are always appreciated. Hope you enjoy the courses. And if you have any recommendations for any future courses, you could obviously drop those in the Discord. But now let's get back to the tutorial. And if you want to know how to make this bowling texture, just comment that down below and maybe I'll make another tutorial on that. But we are going to focus on this highlight. So, I'm going to start by bringing in a gradient node and control teeing it. And then I'm going to rotate it so that the black color is at the bottom. I'm going to make a sort of border for where the light will appear. So first I'm going to position this gradient node to somewhere above the door frame and window frame and make it so that there are black siders from each side of the color ramp and a white one in the middle. And I'm just going to crunch it like so. You can obviously follow along or place it to wherever you want it to be. Alright, so once that is done, I'm going to bring in a noise texture. This is so I can control the waviness of this borderline because uh, at the moment it's pretty straight and a bit too formal. Okay, so I'm going to control T that noise texture and then plug it into the scale of the mapping node that was plugged into the gradient node. And in front of that I'm going to bring in a color because all we need to do now is change the black values to something of a very very light gray and then it will make it kind of wavy. And obviously you can play with the scale of the noise texture. This is how it looks before and this is how it looks after. So what the noise texture does, it distorts the gradient line. And that's perfect because now it's not uniform. Alright, so bring in a mix color after that and then set that to subtract. After doing that you can duplicate that bottom noise texture tree that we made and plug it into the B socket of that mix color setting the light grey colour to a black. Okay, so now we are going to make it very long. So make the Y scale of the mapping node 8 maybe, around 8, and the Z scale 0.1. This is so that we have these nice jagged lines for the highlight of the building. It looks more like the reference. You can make the noise texture scaled up very high, higher than mine, which is set to around 30, or you can make it very low. It's up to you. At the end of that node tree, I'm going to duplicate that mix color and set it to multiply. Uh, after doing that, I'm going to duplicate that noise tree once again and plug that into the mix color that we just set to multiply. This is going to make it so that there are some parts of the highlight that are more bright than the others. Because we do not want the entire thing to be bright, we want some parts bright and some parts dark. So edit it as much as you'd like. There we go. Okay, so now I brought in front of the base building texture that I have here a mix color set to overlay and then I'm going to plug that entire tree we just made into the factor of that mix color. And now that texture we made earlier, so now that texture that we just made will be the thing that controls how much emission is applied onto this model that we have over here. So plug that into the B factor of the mix color with a shader to RGB in front of it. All we need to do is change the strength of the emission and the color. And if you want to change how the highlight itself looks, you can play with the color ramps and the noise scaling and all these other things. Uh, you could make the highlight even more interesting by plugging in some textures into the color of the emission so that it's not a uniform color, it's more of different colors that you choose. But I'm going to leave it as is. But that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one. Alright, bye.